got a microwave here. Stay with me. It's going to be a tricky one. You're going to have two templates with your microwave oven if you bought it new. If you didn't, you can go on uh, your manufacturer's website and they will uh, give you or download a template. This one says rear wall template and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to match up the, the arrows to where they say and the lines to where they say. There's only one thing I'm concerned about on the bottom, so I'm not going to let all these lines confuse me. Um, is this mark right here. And it says uh, the very bottom part where the track is going to go. So uh, I'm simply going to go in the middle here. I'm going to drill a hole in there and I'm going to drop that. And then I'm going to take this that was there and line up that hole. And I'm going to take whatever screw is handy. And it's going to go. Now, according to the instructions, they tell you that they want at least one screw into a stud. So find a stud. The best way that I find a stud is, is I go with a, a screw and I just, not there. And I'm basically gonna poke along here until I find a stud. When you find a stud, put the leg in. That's, that's pretty solid. And now if I can find another stud, I'd love to put another one in there. So I'm gonna have a look around. I've got one right there. Wow, how lucky is that, eh? So, see if I can find a, another leg. And put that one in. Now I've learned with these that it's, 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 it's critical that you get it in the center. I measure across here and it, it seems to be uh, 30 and an eighth. So I'm going to be putting here 15 and a 16th there. There's a center line here on the template. And I'm going to line that center line up to that. So everything seems to be not bad. Okay. That's all you need. Because we're going to vent the microwave to the front, we don't have to worry about this hole. We are going to run the, the, the power cord up here so we can plug it in on the top. So that means that this hole here, this marked power supply, we're going to drill it there. I'm just going to start it there. And the same here. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit here. And then this one here and now. These holes here are it's gonna bolt your microwave right to the cabinet above. So they also say here what size of a hole to drill. So now that I've marked my holes, I'm gonna be able to drill them. It's a half inch diameter for uh, the bolt hole that we put here. And this blower motor right now is set to exhaust up to the top, but we need it to exhaust at the front of the machine. So it's going to be a recirculating vent. We're going to have to take this motor and turn it around. This is where you're going to have to follow the instructions uh, very carefully on the model that you have because even though they're all basically the same, 
Every manufacturer has slightly different configuration. Familiar enough with this one here, that I know that this panel here, this hinge, it just hinges up. This couple of screws here, I've seen this screw here is holding it in place. I'm gonna undo that. And remember where all my screws go. And then this pulls off straight up. And we're simply just going to turn it. So now you can see the direction of the fan is now blowing out to the front, right? And it's going to go through these vents here and here, and then exhaust out the front. So we're going to slide that back down, like so. Line up that hole again. I'm going to screw it in there. Well, we're here because it's easy. We're going to put in the carbon filter. So carbon filter is when you're doing an inside venting. And even when you're doing an exterior vent, uh, be aware that some models have, um, it's a 70-30 split. And that 70% of the exhaust goes out the back and 30% of it is recycled through. Uh, that makes it pretty critical that you put your carbon filters in. The carbon filter generally goes here in the front. I saw two screws here, and so I pop those two screws out. And then this is supposed to go in there, up on an angle. Set in. Let's see. So our filter actually goes right up in there and then down. And then this grill cover again. And uh, I remember it was a quite a bit of quite a bit of force it took to get it off. Make sure your tabs are in at the top. Right, put that in and slide it over and what do you know, it latched and then we can put our screws back in. So we got everything in place here. This hole here, I'm still a little suspicious whether the plug is going to go in there or not. But we're going to find out in, in, a, in a hurry. Uh, if you're at all nervous about this, take two men. Somebody to hold it, somebody to feed it, all that different kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try it on my own. If I have any kind of struggle, then I'm gonna wait for Dean to get back and give me a hand. But let's give it a whirl. cord as you're pulling it up until it uh, until it grabs and these beautiful long bolts this here lead is going to help you find the nut that is in the microwave so once you get it through the hole you'll be able to find the nut on the other side and then thread it in so the microwave is in Every now and then you run into a snake. This is a snake. The hinge side. It's the cabinet. Are we going to fix this? 
I got a couple ideas. Just gotta take the microwave back up. Here we go. We're gonna have to do some added modifications, of course, to make this microwave stick out. Apparently, yeah, most microwaves are designed for 11 and a half inch cabinets in IKEA. Uh, these ones are coming out at uh, 14 and a half. That's, that's three inches. That's a lot. Um, we're going to see if we can get away with just a two by four and a two by four is they're an inch and five eighths. Um, so if I put an inch into five eighths, uh, plus 14 and a half plus one and a half is 16. Oh yeah. We're going to come out ahead for sure. So that we've got lots of room. So this I'm going to be setting here. And the nice thing about a two by four is that once I fasten this to the two studs that are here, this becomes structural and I can put screws anywhere in it to hold up the, uh, the bracket. Okay. Drop another screw in there. Right there. Everything seems to be pretty good there. That's solid. So now when I put my bracket on there, it doesn't matter where I screw it to, it's gonna hold. I'm using flooring screws, by the way. It seems to be the best kind of screw that I found. It, it bites, bites through anything. Now it's gonna hold good. Now the other thing that we have to deal with now is that we drilled a hole up here for our bolts that fasten the microwave down. Now we have to relocate them because we moved everything out an additional inch and a half. Fingers crossed. Try this out. Okay, so we've, we've hooked it all up. It's really solid up there, it opens up good. The light inside is on. That's always a good sign. It's 12 o'clock, another good sign. And let's see here where the, uh, uh, the fan, speed one. Can you put the motor? Two. Three, four, we got it all. Works like a dream, works like a dream.